something for you my dude i'm just wondering if you know this dude <laughs> magma marine pretty sure that ace can remember him very well but anyway guys on this video obviously we're gonna be evolving the last hope oh, finally how i'm going to remove again my try hard face <laughs> because this is gonna be the final unit that we need to evolve and get for this update and this is gonna be the fodder units basically the same as ace all right it's also need 11 star fruit from marine hq raid and at the same time these units from the sky fleet here on world number two story mode so anyway guys what are we waiting for let's now click the upgrade button in three two one Bruh. Oh, come on. Stop doing that. All right, take two. Let's now click the upgrade in three, two, one. It's gonna be the Magma Marine 2. Okay. Um, basically, this is the same name. <laughs> okay, let me just remove Ace here because he should not be here anymore since we already have here a Kainu, an angry and mad a Kainu. Let's do it. There we go. And look at that, guys. These droplets of magma kind of looks like a PNG file. <laughs> Not gonna lie about that, but yep, it's a little bit underwhelming effects wise. But I mean, this is one of the admirals, guys. Probably one of the most hated admiral on One Piece. Anyway, guys, I hope that his effect will not sum up what kind of a unit he is here on All Star Tower Defense. And let's try to see what will be the full potential of this OP OP admiral. Let's go. Ace was not a disappointment. That is for sure. Especially for a 6 star version. I think that he's as good as he gets. But what about this dude in my shoulder? You know, that dude who did that to Ace. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But anyway guys, I think that y'all will be divided on this one. But my question to all of you is, do you like a Kainu or hate a Kainu? Let me know in the comment section below guys. But anyway guys, 500 cash to summon a Kainu here in Ulster Tower Defense. As you guys can see, he will be starting off with a very wide semi AUE cone, but you can already see that his range is oh my god, it's so flashy. Come on, he will be starting off with a very wide semi AOE cone, and as you guys can see, his enchant will still be here. Look at that, and his animation is literally slapping them with magma. Look at this, guys. <laughs> it's not that big of an animation look at that but it kind of fits the the range itself you know like 35 range only and i think that he's already making them burn but anyway guys his damage will be at 4117 at level 80 damage wise he is lower than ace even though they both cost like 500 and also ace can be placed here as a heal unit so basically ace can also defend against those air units at the same time i guess that's a plus point for ace so anyway guys let's now move on 50,000 for his very first upgrade look at that 34,010 additional damage which we're gonna do right now there we go nothing changed on his spa and range and his total damage now will be at 43,228.5 so let's now continue guys magma eruption will be his very first learned skill for 100,000 it's gonna give him 15 range really really needed that and also 89,500 additional damage let's do it boys there we go so his attack mechanics didn't really change it's only gonna be about his range uh and also this is the new animation i'm really sorry for that roger <laughs> just really trying to steal the show from a kainu but probably he's also a little bit mad okay look at that guys so for some reason his attack animation is going over his range but his range is still not so good i mean 50 range it's kind of like only a starting range for some good good unit so yeah nothing's really splendid yet at least for this unit but as guys can see He's already giving us a damage of 146,153.5. So that's already more than actually 700,000 plus if you will multiply that to 5. And yeah, nothing's really fantastic at the moment. So let's now continue. 125,000 this time. Only going to be a damage upgrade. 134,250. Let's now do it, boys. There we go. So now he will be clocking at... Oh my god. He will have like 
probably he will end up having more damage than Ace. 300,541 damage already. So that's already like 1.5 million together with a burning damage without even any buffed at all. For his next upgrade, 175,000. Only going to be another damage upgrade. 223,750 this time. Let's now do it, boys. There we go. So he will be, yeah, a lot more, a lot, lot, lot more expensive than Ace. So basically, uh, if we're going to talk about Ace versus Akainu, Ace is for the story or raid mode. Akainu is kind of like built for infinite mode. So 557,853.5 at the moment. Multiply that to five, that's already more than 2.5 million. That is insane. But of course, his range really needs to cope up. So let's now move on. 450,000, still no new animation for some reason but he's gonna get an additional 358,000 damage let's now do it boys there we go wow he's expensive 969,553.5 oh my god this is guys 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 this is a unit that has no buff yet and if you're going to consider the burning damage, oh my god, he's already at almost 5 million. I'm pretty sure that he can already reach 5 million, not even max, guys. And that is really insane. Imagine if we already have Brook. I mean, this stat line over here can already be considered as kind of like a max stat line. You know what I'm saying? But no, that's not his max because his max, oh my god. Oh, look at this, guys, for 600,000. I said I need range well look at this plus 50 freaking range and also 626,500 damn oh my god he's the best burning unit now i think so yeah that is only if he will actually have still this kind of semi aoe cone ace got a full aoe but again guys we cannot compare ace and also akainu because it's already obvious akainu is really for infinite mode and ace is for story slash raid mode anyway guys his new skill will be magma fist gutling let's do this boys there we go oh okay so he will have um maybe should i just say one fourth of a circle well not quite but yeah <laughs> it's a very wide semi aoe as guys can see and this is a new animation as well guys oh my god how much is he he's only gonna cost you 1.5 million guys this is the reason why he's a very very scary burning unit the only downside i guess is the sp but but come on now 100 range Bro, he's actually good. All right, guys, we draw 56 and he can no longer one clap these enemies. Uh, we just cannot see it right now. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh my God. You know the reason why I'm actually being surprised? Well, his damage is not like really, really OP like the first time we saw here in all Star Tower events. I was just really, really surprised that he's not even a seven star, guys. Well, of course, Roger is a six star unit as well. Actually, guys, I'm going to show them to you side by side because what I'm thinking, guys, is he He's kind of like a different Roger, but also arguably a better Roger. Roger's damage is 1.55 million, and we know that Roger can make the units bleed, right? His damage is 1.69 million, but Roger's already at level 175. Akainu is only level 80. You can already see their difference, guys. SPA as well is a little bit longer for our Akainu, but of course, we also got to consider the fact that Akainu cannot hit air units. Roger will only have this size of circle AoE, so with the right placement and with the right timing, definitely Akainu will be able to hit more units than Roger. So whatever Roger is doing right now, boy, the only advantage Roger's probably his early upgrades because it's kind of cheap but bro at the end game like when both of them are max i think that a kind of would arguably be better compared to roger because i don't think the 100 range will be a problem look at this guys together with merlin buff range will be 140 and since his aoe cone is wide look at that it's even gonna get wider at the end of his range oh my god okay together with our brooks buff music and also music take a look at their damage guys for roger it's 5.43 at level 175 but for akainu it's 5.91 boy oh boy 
That is really insane. Oh my god. How come people are not talking about Akainu? Maybe they're kind of like turned off because of his SPA, but come on now. Just look at this area of damage. Like, bro, semi AoE. Oh my god. I can't imagine that Akainu is actually at the same level of Roger. Oh boy. If Akainu is 7 star, probably that's acceptable, but no. This is really a big surprise. He can really be considered as kind of like the dark horse from the Stardust banner. Like, man, that is insane.